one, two, three, go. Children, obey your parents in all things. Uh, I at home felt a lot of rejection, a lot of abandonment. I felt my mother didn't love me. I felt despised and rejected. Uh, I experienced a lot of physical abuse at the hands of my mother's uh, boyfriend. Uh, my arm was broken. I was water hoarded. Uh, that, that estranged my heart from my mother because I felt she should protect me, but she didn't. She chose her boyfriend over myself, and that caused me to feel alienated and rejected by her. And as a result, I started despising her and hating her, but she gave me good instructions. She used to tell me, you're not going to be a, a gang member, right? And I would agree with her. I would say, yes, I'm not going to be a gang member, Mom. But the result of her not showing me enough affection and love and support caused me to feel despised by her, and I started hating her. So what I did is I couldn't cope with this, so I ran away from home. I ran away from home when I was 14. And I, I, was, got, I joined a gang where re the rest of my young friends were part of a gang as well. And I began to use drugs. And the more I used drugs and the more foolish things I did, the more I felt accepted by them. I started feeling a pseudo type of, a type of love and a type of family that I ran away from, that I didn't have at home. And uh, I didn't stop using drugs and I ended up getting stabbed. And I started doing juvenile time, being locked up and being deprived of, of shelter and being feeling lonely. And at times, because I was on the streets, I felt cold and I felt hungry. And I used to see people with their families and I wished that I had a family and a place that I could live in, but I didn't have that. But I was rebellious and stubborn and I chose to be away from, from my family. I got stabbed one time being out there in the streets and being involved in gangs and my liver got pierced and I lost a lot of blood. A year after that I, I was carrying guns and I shot at a gang members and I ended up getting shot by the police and at 16 years old I started facing attempted murder charges and I, I got sentenced as uh, 15 to life when I was 17. I got angry very angry and I began to behave real bad in prison and I got isolated from people and I got uh, privileges took in a way where I was uh, confined to my quarters a lot and I experienced a lot of loneliness, no letters, my girlfriend left me, nobody was writing me, nobody was visiting me, a violent environment, seeing a lot of people get hurt, terrible cuts in their faces, uh, stomach split open, no hope for the future and it seemed like only violence could survive but in doing that violence I had a lot of bitterness and a lot of a lot of uh, hate and resentment. I experienced a lot of helplessness and hopelessness, and uh, I was at my wit's end. I've been incarcerated now 18 years, and it's been the ruin of my life. Listen to your parents. They love you. They might not do it as you would hope they would do, but listen to their good instructions. Stay in school. Don't hang around with the right crowds, the, the, with the wrong crowds. Don't use drugs. There's hope for you. You are important. You are loved. You matter so much. I have found peace in Christ, whatever happens to me. God bless you. When is your date to leave? Stay in that camera lens. When is your date to leave? I don't want to talk about that. Because it takes okay. away. So I want them to stay with that. So I'll see you. There. Are we there yet? Are we there yet, Daddy? <laughs> hey, can you take a picture of Israel and me? Yeah. Inside the prison and then we'll get one on the outside too. <laughs> like Caesar.